Hello friends, starting here a little bit late with my all stupid things all getting messed up. We need to pick things really, really quickly. Let's get this all this stuff up and switch the texture to actually I kind of want a texture, except I don't have time to find it. No, what did we get? We got the ninja. Okay, that's not too Oh, we got a glue gunner. Well, alright, we'll have to deal with it. I didn't have enough time, I only had like 15 seconds and I was freaking It's all good. It's all good. Don't freak out. I'm just angry. I'm an angry person today. Angry person. Angry person, as usual. Let's get started here. Let's go. I think I think cannon's probably one of the best ways to start. I might actually try and fit a ninja here if I can. Doesn't fit. I know dart monkeys fit there, but I guess ninjas do not. That's oakley doakley. So he's doing a boomerang start, which means we're going to have to do a lot of damage very, very quickly here. Lots of damage. Very quick. Uh, hopefully. I mean, especially if he's going this much eco. We're going to rush with a lot of pinks and stuff, so I guess the ninja is something to use right there. We'll get the frag cannon up as well, and that'll just hopefully stop a lot of these things. Now, I'm going to get a third tier cannon as well. Um, which means I might not get the max eco I can in the early game, but also at the same time, you can tell he's having a lot of problems in the early game here. A lot of problems. His cannon is just letting too many balloons go through. With cannon boomerang army. Ooh, man, and then guess what? Pinks are just going to be even more devastating for him. So let's get ready for those pinks. You know, 303 eco, more than enough for the time we get to level 4. Let's see, four level pinks. Level pink, 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 and we might actually take him down with these pink balloons. That is a bit upsetting for him. Oh my. Oh my. I'm sorry. That was... That was... Is he going to be able to defend these? I don't think so. The pinks are going to end up taking him down. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, very good game. Alright, let's get another one in here. I'm going to play another assault for you guys. And like I said, I might actually mix up uh, a defend game or something. We'll see. Mix in maybe a few defend games. Make it a little bit more interesting for you guys. We're going to be here for a while, so we want to make sure we have an exciting time. Of course, exciting time. All right, so what do we got? We got to have face him again, Fizz. Oh, yeah, so let's get the texture this time. We're going to go Cannon Ninja and, of course, the Mortar. Could I mix in anything else that I would maybe want to use instead? I guess, just to be interesting, we can go with the boat instead of the uh, Ninja. And then I will go with the Cannon, though. Uh, he's just so freaking good in this level. He's absolutely stupendous. But right in the middle, it's just... A perfect radius of explosions. Or diameter of explosions. Either way, I suppose. So let's get one of these guys right up in the middle here. And there we go. And spam the red balloons. I don't know if you guys, get, you guys do this, the same thing that I do, but what I do is, is even as soon as the game starts, I'm just holding down the, red, the one button. I don't even... I don't even, like, wait until round two. I'm just holding it down already, so as soon as it happens, it's just like, watch this, ready? Shazam! It just zooms right through there. All those red blue just pop into existence. Just cause. Just cause we can. And I do have a, a frag cannon already. Oh, man, I think he's gonna have a pretty hard time today. He's got a weird cannon spot. I think he needs to learn his cannon spot just a little bit better. That's probably the main problem that he's having. Is that, uh, once he gets that up to 3-0, yeah, it's gonna be okay, but not nearly as good as this spot, for sure. And also, a lack of red balloons coming from him. That is surprising. I don't know if he's going to go with the farms very soon, or if he's just planning on going no economy. Just a little bit of a weird strategy. Bit of a weird strategy here, my friends. Or maybe he for just forgot. So here we go. We got we got the 3-0 uh, cannon. Put him on close. Boom, shakalaka. Get these blues out here. I'm also going to rush in with a couple pinks. Blue, pink, blue, pink. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Uh, I feel like his texture is going to do a decent job versus these pinks. But we should be okay versus the pinks. You know, we might lose some lives in there. But he might lose even more than us. Mix him up just a little bit. My problem is, is that I... Uh... Yeah, it's a pretty even battle here, I must say. Maybe I should just get him up to uh, bigger bombs. Maybe that'll help out. I think so, actually. More blues than not, because I do want Eco more than anything. I would, I'd, ra I'd prefer Eco over his uh, l his losing lives, because there's really not that many. It's only a few in here. And he's going to start getting some more stuff up fairly soon. Now, level 6 is going to pop up in here quick, and you know what? I'm going to keep on rushing with those blacks. Because I really feel like greens and blacks will still cause some problems. Unless he gets that third tier cannon, then I might just go straight blacks. Okay, I'm going to get ready for that boat. He's probably going to spam, spam the black balloons right at me. So let's see, what is he going to do? What are you going to do? Come on. Oh, he's going for a ring of fire. Interesting indeed. So I'm just going to continue with my eco here. And we're going to get this boat up to the grape shot. The magnificent grape shot. And that should pop most of those blacks. I got them on strong as well. Make sure you get something on strong to deal with those blacks. Otherwise, you're probably going to get quite screwed. Kind of like 
my uh, hacksaw guy who screws guys in Kingdom Rush. Now, if you guys like tower defense games, which I still feel like BTD5 is probably my f my favorite tower defense game, but Kingdom Rush is a close second. I feel like Blue Star Defense is more replayable because there's a lot more maps, there's a lot more things to do. Where Kingdom Rush is kind of like you are you have to follow a set thing, and like once you've beaten it all, it's like it's beaten. Blue Star Defense has daily challenges and stuff like that. It keeps you more interesting, keeps you coming back and everything. Sorta. All right, so now, and I, I really like Kingdom Rush, and I was just kind of, I'm not really selling my other channel, but I have been playing a lot of Kingdom Rush on my other channel, uh, Super John Bombo 3, if you haven't checked that out, maybe you should, maybe it would be quite interesting, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going pretty crazy with my eco again, I, I, I don't know, 700 is pretty darn high, isn't it? I don't want to get caught with my pants down again, I'm going to get the mortar. Get the mortar here, I'm going to get ready for a ring of fire as well. I think I'm not even going to get the bigger blast for the mortar, should I? I don't know. Burn them all. So let's get that texture up. Scare him into not rushing me, because I, I, I would rather not die here. Now, I could sell a bunch of stuff enough for a ring of fire. That's the main thing here, guys. This is $700. That's $1,600. Easily can afford a ring of fire here. Uh, I do have to get camera detection here, so I had to get that one, at least one thing for camera detection. He's still going with Zico here. He cannot defend a Rico Rambo Rush, and he doesn't have any camera detection. Um. Um. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? No camera detection on level 13. Oh my. Oh my, and we are going to end up winning that game again. Okay, let's try a defend game. Let's try to fend game very quickly. I feel like he might have been, uh, maybe almost stupefied by my presence. Because he knew who I was and he said he was watching videos and stuff. So, like, maybe he, yeah, it does happen quite a bit. I, I know that I've done the same thing. I, I played with, uh, I used to play this game called Age of Empires. And basically, oh, yeah, this is defense. So, remember, tax shooter, Ken, boomerang, and something for late game. Possibly the super monkey. Mortar. We're going to go with the mortar. Now, my balloon pop and power late game is probably not that great, but uh, I, I don't really expect to go too late game. I don't know if defense got, defend got changed either. But as I was saying, I played this game called Age of Empires a while ago. I know I talk about some of my, uh, my previous games that I used to play, but I think it's a little bit interesting every once in a while to talk about. But I, I was pretty good. But I played one of the top players in the world. Like he was like second in the world at that time. And by the way, I'm not not doing anything on accident. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm saving up for this upgrade right here. But uh, when I'm playing him, I was just like I was so intensified about trying to beat him that I made a lot of stupid mistakes. I made a lot of stupid mistakes, and it upset me a little bit that I made so many stupid mistakes. And he ended up completely destroying me. And I was like, I totally was like, I have a chance. I could do this. I can. I could beat him. I could take him down. I couldn't. I couldn't at all. And I was I was up there. I mean, I wasn't like top two in the world. I wasn't even top ten in the world. I was probably top 50 or 100. But at the same time, it was a big difference in, in skill level between me and him. And he just took me down really easily. So here we go. We're level 36. We got the $1,000 bonus increase. Now we're going to lose a lot of lives here. But we are going to get a Dart Monkey fairly soon. And that's, that's the key here, guys. That's the key. So we're going to get this Dart Monkey right there. Got to get him upgraded quickly. Make sure I don't lose too many lives. Mm, we're still losing lots of lives. This is a bit upsetting. I'm going to go for a 0-3 Dart Monkey straight off the get-go, I think. We'll get him up. Come on, don't lose too many lives. You can actually see the lives above the life bar. I never really noticed that before. I did not think about that. Don't know why, but here we go. We're going to get this 0-3, and there we go. We are set for life. Absolutely. We're never going to lose ever now. I almost want to hold down the, like, the 2 button the entire time just to send up balloons and stuff. Now, I'm still losing a lot of lives here, which is uh, a bit weird. I was not expecting to lose so many lives with the 0-3 Dart Monkey, to be honest. It's like he's chasing the balloons in like a wrong in like the wrong way. 
So I suppose we'll get one of these. I'll get one more dart monkey. This is a nice easy level for us, level 5. We should be able to take care of these guys. And then beyond that, it's going to get very difficult very quickly. So I'm going to get one dart monkey. But I'm going to put him on the other side of this little area thing, Bob. I was thinking this side would be better because then he's got... You know, he's going to just be shooting these balloons. Most Actually, you know what? If I leave him on last, maybe, maybe that'll get more popping power. And he'll just shoot right through these guys. At least that's the hope. That's the plan. Get another one of these. Oh, yeah. Now we're doing okay. Now, he's losing a bit of lives here with that early level ninja. He's probably going with quite a bit of eco. And now, oh, man, he's going to lose a ton of lives. Now, I'm down to 23, so it looks like I'm doing really, really bad. But 23 lives is actually a pretty decent amount for right now. To be completely honest with you guys. I'd love to get one more $1,000 increase. That's like my plan. Get a $1,000 increase. Still getting losing some lives in here. Or maybe I could just leave them on strong. Maybe that will work. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my. Losing so many. No, no, 18. And oh, man, we're so close to this $1,000 increase. And then I can get another 0-3 Darn Monkey. Sweet titties. We could do this hardcore style. And he's down to 68 lives. So you can tell my lives are losing very, very slowly. Where his are losing quite, quite rapido now. Quite quickly. This could be the death. That this could be the death of me, my friends. If these yellows cause me any problems here. Oh my goodness gracious! I'd love to get a third tier cannon as well, right in the middle, kind of like I do in uh, normal assault battles. Uh oh. Uh oh. I had to get that other one really quickly because I just I was too scared. I only down, I'm down to ten lives already, so I'm gonna stop my eco for just a little bit. I'm gonna get a third tier cannon. I know I know def defense is actually pretty tough if you don't come in here and play every once in a while. You just forget how to play kind of. There we go. We got at least one cannon there, and we're gonna get some difficult levels coming up in here with those blacks. Those blacks can be pretty tough for us. And a third tier cannon just seems so expensive in defend mode because your eco is just so low. I could afford him in about 24 seconds. Not too long, really, but it just it adds up quickly. It's, it seems so freaking difficult. And, like, when you have 10 lives, you just get so scared. I mean, look at this. You got pinks coming through. If those got through, I lose. You know, you don't want that to happen. There we go. Oh, no, I can't afford it still. Oh, poop. It's all right. It's all good. But you can tell he's having a pretty hard time as well. You know, his ninja's doing a pretty decent job, but overall, it's pretty scary overall. It's pretty, it is absolutely pretty scary. And I'm going to scare probably save up for one more $1,000 increase. And I'm definitely not going to get any $7,500 increases for Shiznit. Not going to get any of those guys. All $1,000. Unless... I really doubt I can afford it. I'm really just thinking that I, I'm not going to do very good at this game. Just got to hope that he dies before me. That's basically the plan, you know? I'm used to actually getting really late game in defend mode, and we actually go really, really late game. But I think it's been changing a little bit. So I'm going to put this guy on strong as well. Got a black balloon trying to leak on through there. Any tough levels coming up in here? I think actually, yes. There is quite a few tough levels up coming up in here. Well, 15 is a bunch more lead balloons. No! Go away! Maybe a third tier boomerang might actually help out. Because these are going to be some tough levels, like I said. They're going to come up quickly. And I know he's got a Bernie stuff mortar, which is definitely nice. Definitely nice. I just don't know if it's going to be enough for for him. And I don't know if it's going to be enough for me. I need to get this uh, this boomerang up. But he's pretty far away, actually. Come on, my little boomerang's doing my doing the job for me. Come on, if I can get him up, I'll feel very safe here. 3 zero boomerang, 3 zero cannon, fantastic combination. It looks like we are going to be able to afford him, but just barely. And I am going to get the lead balloon popping power as well. And now I'm feeling pretty darn good about my, my strategy. Save him for at least a little bit more eco up in here. And I know that he is not going to be able to beat level 20 at the moment. There's no way. Unless he gets a 4th tier ninja, there's no way he's going to be able to beat that. Same with me, though. I really can't beat it at the moment. I'm going to have to get a few more dart monkeys if I want to survive that level. But as far as the blue, the other balloons are concerned, no way, man. No, no way these balloons are going to get through me. Now is about the time if you really did want that $75 increase, you'd probably have to start saving up for it now. 
But me, I'm not even going to go for it. There's just no way. Oh, he does have a fourth tier ninja. Oh, man, he's doing a very solid job. <laughs> Tilly here. I really doubt that I'm going to save up for it. He's probably got a lower eco than me, though, I think. Because I, I started off with a dart monkey, not a ninja. Um, ba dum bum bum. Gonna have to buy some stuff very soon. So this is the level that I'm I'm not sure that he's gonna be able to beat. I know he's got a ninja. I know he's got a mortar. But is it gonna be enough? Is it going to be enough? I could actually get a third tier can a fourth tier cannon if I really wanted to. It's only four thousand dollars, but not for the next level. Um, so here let's get. This and then a few more dart monkeys. We'll get this and then a few more dart monkeys up in here. Strong. One, two, one, two, three. Um. There we go. Now I got some ceramic popping power for sure. Yeah, taking him down. Look at is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh, he lost a ton of lives right there. Oh my. Absolutely fantastic for us. We're taking down most of these camo balloons, but there's still a lot left. Uh-oh. 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 This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We lost one life, but still alive somehow. I don't even understand. And we got a Moab coming out on this next level here. Um... I'm just going to spam the uh, dart monkeys. I don't know if I can even afford a Moab Mauler. And I don't think he can either, so it's kind of good for me. But at the same time, maybe I'll kill the Moab quicker, and then I'll die because of that. I think we lost, guys. I think we lost this game. Oh, man, I'm a defend mode noob. I'm a defend mode noob. No. Oh. All right. I need to work on my defend mode skills. I honestly haven't played in probably at least a couple months. Really. I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I haven't played in months. <laughs> what, could have I, what could I have done differently? I honestly just feel like my, my positioning was a little bit off. Oh, there we go. Disconnected. My positioning was a little bit off on there. I don't really understand what else I could have I could have done better, but I think like my first dart monkey caused me a lot of problems. I had to build a second dart monkey too quickly, and my eco was just shot from the beginning. And then I just didn't play it that well. I guess a ninja would also be a good tower to have because he's really good versus those ceramics and stuff. So you know maybe late game going with one of those instead of a mortar because I didn't even use the mortar by the way. Mmm, beastie. So normally I would go with my fourth tower as like a farm or something, but we're actually going to play for a little bit more late game action. I'm going to get a Taxer. The reason why I call him a late game tower is because of Blade Maelstroms. That's pretty much it. Level 22, I can actually defend stuff with a Blade Maelstrom. I can defeat all those balloons. But you do need to obviously work with your cannons, which usually don't have enough eco by that time to get enough Moab Maulers up in time. Usually you can afford the balloon pop power, because balloon pop power is usually not that expensive. But a couple blade nail shrams, maybe a 4-2 cannon or something. Just keep them busy. So we're going to go with our cannon right about here again. Kind of uh, similar to what we've done earlier in the game. Earlier in this video. Maybe. And we're going to get this little, this little guy right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Red balloons up the wazoo. I sent out my red balloons uh, probably about the same time as him. So let's see. Let's see if this close is actually going to do a good job. Looks like he's got his cannon in a little bit different spot than mine, but pretty much the same spot. Pretty much. Both leaking some lives in here. I'm going to move him back to first for a second. I'm going to get a third tier cannon, obviously, fairly soon. Get him at, at 54 is when we're going to get him. And there it is, third tier cannon. Whoop! There we go! Moving back to close right now. And now we're set, guys. We're absolutely set. So now I'm actually going to rush him with a few pinks in here. A few pinks really quick, then some blues. Just keep him busy. Make him, maybe he'll make, he'll make him buy something or, you know, I don't know. 
Maybe it'll make him buy something, for sure. Not really wasting too much money anyways. I can just go blues right after this. I'm really hoping that he's going to... Yep, there it is. There's the ninja making him waste a little bit of time with sending out those blues and pinks and stuff. He's not sending out anything against me, trying to defend the rushes that I'm sending out against him. Now, I don't care about my life, so I'm just going to let him you know, rush with these pinks. He can waste his eco all he wants, if he wants to do that. Uh, this is one of those levels where lives really do not matter as far as like late game is concerned. If you're going to die, you're going to die from 150 lives usually. You're not going to die from a slow dribble of lives getting taken away. I don't know, that's just the way I feel about it. So we have level 6 popping up here pretty soon. I'm probably going to get my ninja fairly soon as well. But again, I have a little bit better eco than he does. So that's, that's definitely nice. Definitely nice. I didn't have to buy two ninjas. It was $1,200. I have $1,200 more eco than he does. Plus, I kept him busy at the, at the beginning of level 4, which is usually the biggest time when you have to be um, careful. So here we go. We're going to put this guy on strong. I'm going to get him up actually a little bit a little bit here. We're going to get him up to at least this and this. And then I'm actually going to try with a couple blacks in here. Don't think it's going to do any damage, but it's cannon. Is this cannon on first or what? I will have to get a few more upgrades for my ninja here just to be a little bit more on the safe side. Get that sharp shuriken just in case those greens get in the way. He is still no lives lost. Absolutely stupendous, I must say. That's a little bit that's a little bit ridiculous. I guess his two ninjas are just a little bit better than my one ninja. Maybe I'll think about doing that in the future, just two ninjas instead. But at the moment, it is not worth it. I will just keep on flowing with my eco monies. A little bit keep on flowing. And actually rerows would actually be a pretty big problem for me. If I have blacks getting through, rerow blacks, ooh, even worse. So I'll have to be careful here. I'll have to be careful. Get ready for the double shot, though. That's all I really need to get is the double shot, and I'll be aight. I'll be aight. Here it is. Here's those regrow blacks. Now I'll be all right versus these guys. Uh, he's actually trying to mix it up with these uh, regrow yellows, or at least yellows and the regrow blacks. A little bit more difficult for me. And I gotta stop my eco now, because I need to get my mortar up for that level 13 regrow rainbow rush. Put him right in the middle here. Should be aight. Should be okay. Now, I might even go for a Rigo Rush on this guy because I, I noticed that he stopped with his eco just a little bit later than me, and he's going to need this mortar just a little bit later, and I don't know if he's going to be able to get enough defense up for level 13. I have a Ring of Fire as well, so I can get a Ring of Fire, you know. I don't think I want to put it in the middle, but I could. I'd actually put it more on this side, to be honest. Uh, he's got his mortar up in this corner here as well. Some camo regrows or something? Maybe could possibly... Nah, I don't think I want to deal with it. He's got two ninjas plus a mortar. Not worth it, in my opinion. So let's see. He's going to go for a rush against me. Maybe even a mini rush. Nah, not really. Alright, so we got we got a nice ring of fire over in the corner there. I'm going to go with my eco now. And I'm also going to get a 4th tier ninja for... Uh, actually, I can't even go on eco. I need to get this 4th tier ninja up for this Rico Ceramics. Otherwise, I don't think I can take him down, guys. I really don't. There we go. And I'm going to go for a quick Rico Ceramic Rush against this guy. Got two of them. Hey, maybe we can take him down. I don't think so, but hey, just maybe. It looks like he is going to be able to distract them just enough with those ninjas. And now it is time again. We're going to go with a little bit more eco up in here. Now, how is this defense doing? Well, honestly, I feel like the thing that could kill him the best right now is honestly just regrow rainbows. Just go hardcore with those Riga Rainbows. You know, $4,000 rush or something? We could take him down. I don't see how we could possibly take it down. Unless he gets a fourth tier cannon up, and then it's a different story. So do I want to save up for that really quick rush? I suppose I could. Level 18, even a Moab followed by Riga Rainbows? There's no way he's going to be able to pop those guys. At the same time, I cannot pop a Moab rush. There's no way. I mean, even with my 4th uh, my 2 Ninja here, I don't think I could pop a Moab. Well, I got $4,000 built up. Do I want to go for it? What's he going to get with that can? He's going for a Moab Mauler. I don't know. It's, just, it's kind of a risky rush here, guys, but I think I'm going to go for it. It's risque. Risque, but I'm going for it. 
See, the, the mortar, the, oh, he's going for a tax shooter, but, oh, he's going for the ring of fire, and it looks like he's going to be able to defend this rush with the ring of fire. Absolutely stupendous de defense by him. Oh, my. And now I am not screwed, but I am definitely in a downfall right now. Hmm. Huh. It's good defense by him. Maybe I shouldn't have spent $5,000 on that thing. BFP pops out, probably dead. Uh... I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'm gonna go for a triple fast cooldown Moab, and that's the only thing that I can really think of that can might maybe kind of kill him. But I mean, even with that ring of fire there, he's gonna do a pretty darn good job. Oh, he's going for a blade maelstrom as well. Could he get it up in time though? I don't know. It looks like a regrow just went through his defense, but I guess maybe he defended it. He's blade maelstroming again. Oh my! I just sold my ring of fire to go for this rush, guys. Oh, looks like it's GG. JJ, friend. JJ. All right. So, ah, oof. Misplay by me with those Rigo Rainbows. That's probably the best thing that I could say. Misplayed by Chris. But you learn. You live and you learn. And I guess maybe next time, what would I do different? Hmm. Maybe go for a smaller Rigo Rainbow Rush. Because you know what? It could have took him down. Or just not go for it at all. But it was more of an exciting thing to do. Oh, disconnect from the server again. Very angry Chris right now. Very angry with my my playing ability. Come on, find me a match, dog. All right, so we got. An I think I've played this guy before. A nightmare for you. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Should we randomize it? I suppose we could. We can randomize it. Oh crap, we got terrible towers. Absolutely terrible towers. I don't even know how the hell I'm gonna survive here. Camera detection with a sniper monkey. Delicious. Absolutely stupendous. Wow. Oh my god. Holy crap. What the heck. Oh my gosh. We're gonna lose. Really bad. Really bad. What the heck could I possibly do with these things? I mean, I got an ice tower start. That's the only way I can start. We'll get, uh... Two of these guys right here. Get this guy up to, uh... The snap freeze pretty quickly. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. We're going to get a 12-second snap freeze. Boom. Snap freeze it up. And now I'm just going to... Oh, he's going with the 2-0 boomerang to start. Weird start. Maybe we might be able to do some quick damage to him on level 4, depending on how he ends up going about with this boomerang. It's kind of expensive. It's very expensive, actually, to try and get a... Uh, get your eco high enough while still getting some sort of good level boomerang for level 4. And if you get a cannon to try and deal with these red balloons because you can't deal with it, which most people end up doing, you definitely can't afford anything for level 4, especially eco while doing that. So that's just what I'm what I'm thinking about here right now, guys. As you can tell, his boomerang. Oh my, looks like a bad spot for his boomerang. It looks like it's I'm a nightmare to him right now. Oh, and there it is, a 2-3 boomerang very quickly, actually. Quite quickly. He's able to deal with these things, and now he's doing a decent job versus them. Let's start sending out these blues. I don't think the pinks are going to do anything. I'm not even going to go for it, but I am going to get another ice tower over here to deal with uh, the pinks and stuff that might come out. Again, Eco is going to be my friend today, because I really need to get a lot of money up in here so I can uh, somehow get some sort of defense. For, like, like, level 13, I don't see how there's any possible way that I could defend very well. Uh, there's going to be a really hard time for me to pop just about anything. I think I get an, get an ice shards, and then maybe I can deal with the, deal with, you know, zebras and stuff just based on other bloons the other bloons getting ice sharded and exploding and the ice shards actually affecting the zebras or, and or, you know, whites and stuff. Other than that, I probably, I have to use a glue gunner maybe to deal with, uh, those bloons. So we got some pinks coming up in my in my grills here, man. They're trying to cause me some chaos, but I'm not gonna let it happen. My ice towers are actually doing pretty solid, pretty solid job over there. Three ice towers definitely doing a good job. 
And uh, like I said, level 8 is going to be a little bit more difficult. I can't even go with like a 2-1 glue gunner. I actually have to go with like a high level glue gunner, actually. I can probably have to go with a 2-2 glue gunner, which is, I consider a high tier glue gunner. If it's a $2,000 something up dollar upgrade, pretty darn expensive. Alright, he's got a pretty solid defense as well. And the only thing that I'm really hoping for is that his eco is, is not good. Uh, going with a 2-3 boomerang to start, definitely hurt him there. Going with another ninja after that, he's spending way more money than I have. And there we go, we got some black balloons coming our way. But black balloons are actually easier to pop than the pink balloons, believe it or not, because once you get to once frozen, it's it's pretty easy to just keep on freezing them and kill them over time. Kill them over time, so you can tell he's just rushing with all these weird balloons, but it's not going to do... Oh, whoa, 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 what? What? A yellow balloon just snuck right by. I don't even know how that that happened. We stopped pinks the entire time, then one yellow sneak spot. All right, so level 8 is coming up quick here, guys. We're going to have to get our glue gunner ready. $2,200 upgrade. Oh, crap. I'm really hoping that we're going to have enough glue gunner action here. He's probably going to sell those regal wise. probably going to end up losing here, guys. It's going to be very upsetting for me. Very upsetting indeed. I only got $210 built up in that ice tower. I want to wait to get this glue gunner, though. The glue splatter upgrade. And there's the white balloons, but is it going to be enough? I don't know. Oh, my goodness gracious. So many balloons coming out from him. Wow. Really? He is going hardcore on this rush against me, which leads me to believe that I can probably beat him with some camos. If he doesn't get a mortar up soon, I'm going to camo rush the crap out of him, especially with a couple camo leads. One, maybe one set of camo leads just to distract him and then keep him... Oh, there it is. There's the mortar. But is that going to be enough up in time? I'm going to go for a hardcore Riga Rainbow Rush level 13. That's pretty much the only thing I got with these random balloons, because he's still going too much eco here, guys. I am down quite a few lives. That is probably the worst part about it. Um, oh, we lost, didn't we? Oh, come on! Stupid game! Stupid game! Oh my god, I'm so mad at that game right there. I can't believe those ice towers couldn't handle him. What the heck? What the heck? I should have got a couple more up to 2-0 or something. I don't know. I just thought they could handle it, but they just couldn't. Extremely upsetting. I'm upset about that game. I'm just upset about every single game today. I think I usually do a little bit better on my hour challenge or my hour specials as far as playing goes. Today, I don't know if I'm just off or what the deal is, but we got Cordy P today. Given, keep in mind that that was a randomized tower setup, and I just am terrible with the ice towers, especially on that level. That level is tough with the ice towers. All right, let's use farms today, just because they are a little bit interesting. I'm gonna use the boats, cannons, and then a mortar. It's a pretty solid strategy right there. I'm going to get quite a few farms up in here, around level uh, 9 or so. You guys got a pretty decent record. I think we're going to take him down easy, though, I think. I'm actually going to really do a very, very good job. And no, I am not using my quote-unquote best strategy. My best strategy would be a cannon ninja, uh, mortar, and tactic. That would be my best strategy. That's what I would like to use in every single game. But of course, I don't like to make things boring for you guys. I try and make it at least a bit exciting, and I try and mix it up just a little bit. But you can't go straight too far away from your normal strategy, because then you just turn into a giant blob of terribleness. And I don't want to be a giant blob of terribleness. So I at least got two of my main towers here, and then I kind of just got a boat, because he can be okay. And then a farm. I would honestly prefer to use a ninja on this level than a boat. But again, if you can use it, why not? the way I think about it. If you can use it, why not? I really thought if we made it to level 13 on that last game, though, we would have handled him very easily. He just he kept rushing me. I was not I was not thinking that he was going to keep on rushing me. I honestly thought he was just going to stop and be like, I need to fend against Rigo Rainbows, because that's what most people do. Most people, I guess, think ahead enough or something. So I am kind of bamboozled by this guy's lack of eco as well. well I got a third tier cannon now. But still no blue... Oh, there it is. He's going for the pinks against me. Gonna do a little bit of damage to me. Oh, come on. Come on, man. You can't be missing like that. A few lives of damage to me, but it's nothing nothing special. Nothing crazy. And I'm gonna get the bigger blast as well. <coughs> oh, I should be sending out blues. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Now, two boats can usually handle pinks fairly well, so I'm not even gonna worry about rushing with those pinks or anything. But he's just going... 
almost no eco. So the longer I last in this game, the better I am off. That's the way I'm thinking right now. If I could just make it to round 18, I got this game in the bag. So don't go for any unnecessary rushes. No unnecessary rushes today. Um, well, six is going to pop up quick, so I'm going to get ready for that boat in the next three seconds. Two, one, and boat time. If he can somehow fit somewhere. Oh, look at that. We're down by one dollar. We couldn't afford it by one dollar. Ridiculous. Oh, now I can't afford it by nineteen dollars. But that's okay. We'll just wait a little bit longer, and I'll keep enough money this time for a grape shop. There we go, now we're doing a good job against these pinks, and also against the blacks that are going to come out fairly soon. There they are, there they are. You can tell he's just trying to do damage with these weird, like, weird balloons that he thinks are going to do damage to me, but usually they probably do damage to, like, the uh, noob cakeish players. Probably. He's still got a very solid defense, though, I must say. But then again, like I said, he's going not very much eco. I mean, his eco's probably only, like, 350 tops with these pinks and blacks coming out. 350 tops. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't see there being any other way that he's higher than that. Only blacks, only pinks. Though I, I never actually have done that before. I should probably test it out. Like, what? Do you, what is your eco if you only go with pinks and only go with blacks and only go with, you know, maybe whites after that? Will it be higher? Will it be extremely, extremely low? Like something you can't even deal with? Just don't know. So I got my mortar up fairly soon here, guys. 700 probably gonna be my limit today. 700 pretty soon. Oh, I should have been sending out yellows, by the way. I'll send out one, two more big groups of yellows. So we'll get out one that group there, and then one more group after that, and then we're done. 29, and done with the yellows. Let's continue on with the mortar. Now, as far as his defense is concerned, again, it's it's a reasonable defense. You really can't say that he has a, a giant gaping hole in his defense at the moment. And at least we got a birdie stuff mortar. Just makes me feel a little bit safer usually. But he just he just keeps rushing me with these things. He, like I said, it's just it's different. You don't see this happen very often. He might just keep on rushing with his, these hardcore balloons and just expect me to slowly get overwhelmed by them. So next thing I gotta get is either save up for a fourth tier cannon or get another third tier cannon. And oh, I didn't even go with farms today. What the heck was I thinking? I just didn't go with any farms. I'll get them a little bit later. Let's see, is he going to rush me with anything crazy? He's still going eco now. Um, I'd love to get that fourth tier cannon. As soon as you get that, you're, it's like game set match versus the balloons. Can't, they can't take you down. I got a 4-2 cannon now. It's game set match versus the balloons. Still any rushes that I can sound against him. Well, I mean, honestly... I don't know, he's got a really weird defense. I, I can't even really say it. If I, if I could kill him or not. I really just don't know. I mean, he's got, like, a weird amount of camera detection, the boats and the wizards. I don't even know if they are up to camera detection, but it's just a weird amount. And then on top of that, you have uh, uh, the boomerang, the 3-0 boomerang, which he's just scary when you rush out with three your rainbows. And like I said, the longer we last, the better we are off, because his lack of eco in the, in the beginning game really hurt him. And I even know that he is going eco now, but it's not going to be enough to catch up to me for sure. He just started too late. That's the best way I can put it. And he's sending out all his money slowly as well. It's not a big rush. So possibly some regrow ceramics, actually. That could actually do some solid damage to him. Maybe I'll get one more one more of these guys, and then I'll go for some regrow ceramics. Even some camo regrow ceramics. Who knows? Those are kind of expensive, though. So let's just go with a couple regrows. $450 for these guys. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And I might go for a few more than that. Six and seven. And that should be the game, I think. Maybe possibly, unless this three zero boomerang somehow magically takes all these guys down. There's so many of them on the screen. Three zero boomerang. Look at that took a delicious job of taking these guys down. And he somehow magically does take them down. Absolutely crazy, man. Oh wait, whoa, wait, down to eighty two lives. Barely defended those things. Now here we go, we got a level eighteen Moab brush that we could possibly send out against this guy. One Moab. Regrow Moab, by the way. 
And level 20 is going to be a gigantic PFP rush if he still has not died yet. Oh my goodness gracious. Is he gonna really going to be able to take down those as well? I mean, to do 82 lives down to 60 lives. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even know how he's, how he's still alive. I really don't. So I want to do one solid BFP here. It's going to be a $3,750 rush, and it's also going to take my eco down quite a bit more. Let's see. Uh, almost there, and there it is. Regrow BFB. Followed by a bunch of fast cooldown Moabs, and there's no way. There's no way he's going to be able to take these things down, guys. Oh my goodness gracious, we might have lost right there. No, 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 no! Are you... Ah, I want to break things right now! You gotta be kidding me. Really? Did that really just happen? I am absolutely awful today. I am absolutely awful today. This is just upsetting me beyond belief. I don't normally get too angry. I mean, sometimes I get angry, but today is just one of those days, especially because I had a really bad day yesterday. I had a really bad day yesterday, and then all of a sudden I come on this game trying to release some of my my inner feelings of good, and nope, they're just being jerks to me. And you know what? It's not even that they're being jerks to me. I'm just playing bad. That's the best way to put it. I'm just playing terrible. I should have... Why did I go for such a gigantic rush? I didn't need such a gigantic rush. I didn't need it at all. Should have saved a little bit more money, went with another mortar or something. Oh, God. It's very upsetting. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. On top of me getting disconnect disconnected from the server every single time. <sighs> okay. I'm going to use my best towers, and I need to win a couple games to end up this series. If I don't... I'm going to get extremely upset, and I might have to stop playing Blue Star Defense Battles forever. And you know what? I always say that, but I never actually listen to it. But that's just... That's because I'm lying. I would never quit the game, but I, I tell myself that I'm going to quit. You know how, like, when you get really angry at a game, and you're just like, ah, screw this game, I'm never playing again, and then you, like, try the next day? It's pretty much how I get. Pretty much how I get. Alright. So we're going to do the Cannon Mortar Normal Strategy. Let's get going here. This guy's only got a thousand battle score. How could we possibly lose? Being a noob, that's how we can lose, because I've been just doing that all day today. Absolutely, I've been doing it all day today, so I'm going to do the cannon start. Honestly, don't even know what the heck went wrong last game. My mortar just didn't pop those camos because there were so many balloons in that spot, I guess. And what I was thinking is, I was like, oh, here, let me get a boat upgraded really quick. Oh, crap, only $500. I'm like trying to think of like what I should do to get more money, and then I just, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Because I sold my farms for a gigantic rush. A gigantic rush that I just didn't need, guys. I just didn't need it. Very, very poor decision making for me there. But there's no point in thinking about the past too much. So let's think about the future here. What are we going to do today? Well, you're noticing he's starting off with a ninja, which leads me to believe that I can probably get some really solid uh, uh, early rushes with the grouped balloons on him. Or he's just not going to get enough monies or eco to uh, make him last in the late game. Lives do not matter to me at all today. I will honestly almost I'm almost getting ready to swear at how much I hate hate how bad I'm playing today. I'm getting upset, like I said, I'm just I'm upset. People get upset. It's okay. It's okay, let's get this third tier cannon. And we're gonna get ready for those blues on the next level here. You know what I don't like to get upset on camera. I really don't. And I'm not even really on, on camera, I'm just on audio, I suppose. I don't like to get upset during during when I'm talking to you guys. It's, it's not fun, and you know what? I got really upset in the live stream the other day, and uh, the reason why I got upset is because people were lying to me in the live stream, and then it distracted me from the game trying to figure out the truth, and then I ended up losing a game trying to figure things out, and I lost like four games in a row because people were lying to me, and it was just it was so upsetting to have to lose games that you really didn't want. It's not even that you didn't want to lose. I don't care. I don't care about losing. It's just, I don't care. I don't want to lose a stupid way. Like, a couple of those games, I'm just like, I lost really stupidly. The Ice Tower thing, that was extremely stupid. The last game with the camo balloons, two camo rainbows leaking through. Absolutely, stupendously stupid. Did not want that to happen. 
tell me to learn from my mistakes of the last game, and or learn from other people in the last two games, and what have I noticed? That low-level ninjas seem to be better than high-level ninjas at popping these blacks, or at least putting them in multiple spots. So we're going to get our ninja ready. I'm going to get one of these ninjas right here. Put him right here, and put him on strong. There's one ninja. I'm going to go for a second ninja. So he's got some weird towers over here. He's got a dartling gun and a ninja. So he's going to be good versus those those uh, space blues, you know? So we're going to get another ninja right over here. Pop them for the strong the strong blues. We're also going to get the bigger blast here. Play a little bit more defensive, I suppose, for these blues. Just so he doesn't... I don't really even want him to keep rushing me. I don't really like having billions of blues on the screen, I suppose. And again, he is going to continue on with the... Uh, weird towers. He's got the Darling Gun, Ninja, and Wizard. You don't see that too often. Honestly, if I chose those towers, I would think that I'm playing bad. But you know, some people have different strategies than me, and you know, my strategies usually just don't work out with these weird towers. Usually being the keywords there. So I'm going to keep on going with my eco, and also I think, you know what I might be doing, is I might be going a little bit too much monies, too much eco, because I... It's not that I forgot about the update, it's just really easy if you just don't play for like a week or something to go back to your old habits. And maybe I have been going to my old habits a little bit too much, going a little bit too much eco, and not realizing that I should stop just a little bit earlier, you know, 700, not 800. So, only 700 today. That's going to be my max. Only 700, and I, I promise you, I will not go over 700 or like 701 or something. There we go, 700. For right now. <clears throat> okay, next thing to get is, of course, a Mortar. Now, what can we do as a good attack against this guy? Well, there's a couple ways we can go, obviously, but I'm going to get my defense set up first. I'm going to get the bigger blast and everything. I'm actually going to put the Mortar down in this little corner right about yonder. And we're going to get that Signal Flare up. Here we go. We got Signal Flare. Now, what's this guy going to have for us? Well, not too much. Not too much at all. I'd love to get a Ring of Fire as well. Wow, should I get a Ring of Fire? Well, you know, we're going to do a quick little... Regrow Amber Rush? Oh, he's got Camel Leads against me, but that's not going to do anything. Absolutely not. We're going to go for a gigantic Regrow Amber Rush. There's no way he's going to be able to pop it. It's just it's just game over for him. There we go. Regrow Rainbows! The Camel Leads are still coming out against me. He did not see my Mortar or something. I'm not sure what he was thinking. But he's still rushing with Pinks, and you know what? He's just going to slowly get overwhelmed by these guys. At least... I could play one game and win one game, and I'm hoping that the rest of these these games will be victories, because I'm going to try my absolutely best, absolute best now. I'm not going to do any weird things, I'm just going to gonna do it. I'm just going to do it, guys. It's going to happen. We're going to probably play about two more games or so, depending on how, how well they go. Now we got Hades the Unseen. We're going to go with the normal stretch jar. I'm all ready to go. What's the fastest that I can pick my, my towers? About f six seconds, maybe? Even if I'm like sure of what I want. It's about six seconds or so. It seems to be the amount. Hades the Unseen is 33 and 11, so he's got more. He's got a 3 to 1 win ratio, exactly. It's usually what I consider somebody a pretty good player, is about a 3 to 1 win ratio. If I see a 2 to 1, I'm like, oh, he's alright. If I see a 1 to 1, I'm like, ah, he's okay. And if I see anything lower than that, like a, a lo more, more losses than wins, I usually think he's not that great of a player. Alright, so we're going to go with, of course, the cannon. Gonna get in right there. I might even go for a ninja as well on level 6. Not level 6, uh, level 4. I might. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it works out. Now the game is going a little bit slower today. You can tell it's lagging just a little bit. Any way to speed up the game, good sir? Oh, it's so shad. Well, it's okay. Oh, it's his PC. Oh, okay. So I'm going to continue on with these reds, of course. Oh, we'll continue. I guess I'm just going to start with the reds. And slowly get more stuffs. And by the way, guys, I'm sorry that I got upset a little bit earlier. Some people think... Some people say, like, oh, Chris, you're a crybaby or something. No, everybody gets upset. Sometimes it's about different things. I... I'm a very hardcore player when it comes to games, and when it comes to losing, I consider it almost like an attack against me. Like, I suck as a person if I lose that game. And you know what, you can... Th I, I think maybe that's different than most people think. Most people are just like, it's just a game. But I'm, I'm very... Uh, 
not that I'm a sore loser. Like I said, if I beat, if somebody beats me fairly, I'm totally okay with that. It's just the fact that I want to win so badly, and when it happens, when I don't think it should happen, it, it makes me a little bit upset. That's the way I can think about it, the best way I can think about it. So we're going to get this third tier cannon up pretty darn soon. Get this cluster bomb, though I haven't really needed it so far. He's going with a lot of, uh, he's not really going with too much against me. So I'm going to get that third tier cannon really quick. Hopefully we can get that green out of here. Get rid of that green? Nope, doesn't look like we're going to get rid of that green. It's going to lose probably one more life. Probably. Whoop! Boom! There we do. We took it. Damn, we do it. We do it, and I really don't think his strategy is going to be good at all. I'm going to start with the pinks on level level 4, and he is not going to be able to deal with them. I just, I know it. He's going to lose a lot of lives on level 4, unless he changes up his strategy, like, right now. I'm going to start with those pinks quick. Quick and exact. And even that might actually help me get a ninja as well. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, very interesting indeed. Go pinks, go! Let's see what happens. I'm not going to start rushing with the blues yet. Maybe I'll keep rushing with the pinks. Maybe I'll just wait it out and just see. So what I'm thinking is going to happen is this ninja is, not, is going to hit a lot of these ice balloons. And it's just going to stop. And that's going to lead me to get a lot more damage on him. And for a 3 to 1 run ratio, I was kind of expecting a little bit of a different, different gameplay, I suppose. Now he does have a decent amount of stuffs. I mean, he does have a nice tower that's 2-1, 2-0 at least. And he does have a ninja that's, you know, at least 2-1. Uh, it's at least a 2-1 ninja. I think it is a 2-1 ninja. He's also got a cannon down in the bottom there, but again, we are making him lose lives. Is it enough to make me uh, make it worthwhile of me keep sending out these pinks? That's that's uh, questionable. It's questionable. Let's get our ninja over here. Put him on strong as well. What? Oh, so he's a cheater monkey. Is that what he's telling me? Is that why he's bad and then he just keeps disconnecting? That's, that's extremely stupid. I really want to hear why he thinks that that's a, a smart thing to do. I just don't know why anybody would think that that's, that's a good thing. He's obviously playing like a complete noob, I must say. His, his three towers are just a weird, terrible combination, and his eco is absolutely awful. It's horrific. I kind of want to just surrender. But then again, he will get free medallions, and I don't want this loser. This loser, Hades the Unseen, to get stupid medallions. I got a video proof. I got video proof of this guy being a noob cake. What the heck is this guy doing? I don't know what he's talking about then. Okay. It's alright. We're going to make sure our ninja's on strong, though. Yeah, he is indeed. He is indeed on strong. Okay. I guess that's not bad. I mean, people disconnect, I suppose. His fifth internet sucks. It sucks. He's got a sucky internet. Oh, okay. I don't know. It didn't that didn't seem like what he was what he was saying a little bit earlier, but maybe I just misunderstood. That's okay though. People but just, if you got it if you got sucky internet and you can't help it, you still want to play the game. I guess I understand. It's just I really wish that they would like put these people with slow computers and slow internets against people with slow internets and slow computers. But how could Ninja Kid we possibly even know? I don't think they can know. So uh six hundred might be the amount for me today. Six hundo. I know it's kind of a low amount, but it'll it'll help me out in the long run. Now, what am I thinking? Re anything regrow do any damage to this guy? Well, honestly, probably not yet. 
regrow zebras would be quite interesting to use, but I still feel like the Bernie stuff from that mortar might actually be a, a good enough thing to defend these things. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, 650 is going to be where I'm going to stop today. You know, usually I wait until round 9, or at least in the middle of round 9, but no, I'm not going to wait that long today. Especially because I've, I've gotten, you know, some... Pr oh, there it is. There is the blacks. There they are. And he's missing quite readily today. So many balloons in the way. Oh my. This is not good for me at all. Not good for me at all. I had to get that one taxi there just to help out for these, these low-level blacks. Oh my goodness gracious! What the heck? I don't think we're going to lose. It's just going to be bad dudes bears for us. We'll get that double shot now. Just deal with them. And I feel like I can deal with them now. Double shot can usually take care of most blacks. And, you know, we are low on lives. That is absolutely true. I guess I played a little bit of, like, a nub cake right there. But this game is so slow. Oh, my goodness gracious. I feel like everything should just be happening faster. There we go. There we go. And we're still alive. So it's good news for us. I'll get that Bernie stuff pretty soon as well. 35 lives. <laughs> That's just funny. That is kind of funny, actually. I'm glad that I stopped my eco at 650, though, instead of 700, because I would have been absolutely screwed. And why, why do I pick these random numbers? Well, usually I just I just pick, like, a, a number to shoot for. I don't know why. Just, like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever do uh, workouts or something, and you're like, I don't have a set number before I start. I usually start the workout, and then halfway through, I'm like, I think I can make it to, you know, 40 and, or something. And that's, like, my goal, then, is to, like, try and make it to 40. And then if I make it to only 38 or something, I try and push myself to 40. And if I can't make the 40, sometimes I'll just be like, okay, I'll take a break for two seconds and then get the last two in. You know, something like that. That's what I usually do. So we got a very solid combo here. I don't know, should I even go for the camo rush? He's got some... Should I go for a quick camo regrow rainbow or something? Could probably take him down, to be honest. Go for two of those guys really quick, and that takes him down. Awesome sauce. If it doesn't, oh, he's going for his Vigro Zebras against me. Look at those camos go. He's got no camera ejection for his motor. Could possibly take him down with these things. Now, I don't have that great of a defense yet. Oh, I'm still losing lives. I only got 32. I got to remember that. Remember that that is a problem for me. Look at those camos. And Yeah, right. Yeah, right, he does it on accident. He knew he was going to lose. What a loser. Seriously. What a loser. Why do people do that? That's just absolutely... I guess we're going to end on this guy getting banned. Because I'm going to report him. I'm reporting Hades the Unseen for disconnecting on purpose. And causing stupidity for everybody. But that's going to be all I'm going to have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. As always, I hope you didn't get too upset by me being upset. I think some people find it funny when I get angry. I don't know. I guess I, I can be sort of funny when I'm angry. But usually I just get... It's just unfun. Just unfun. So that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey there, guys. I'm Super John Bombo, also known as Chris. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the videos. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, or favorite any of them that you want to. Also, we've got a bunch of other cool videos here if you want to check them out. we got just a random video. we got Bloom's Monkey City. Or if you want to, check out Random Knot Series. Those are personally my favorite videos to make. Also, we got a new channel here called Super Science. So if you haven't checked out any of my science videos and you just want to learn something, go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a super-duper delicious day.